2024 March Cheesesteak Madness first round action in the New Jersey Delaware region. We got the Cheesy Cup, we got Old Fashions, we got Jessup's Tavern, historic Newcastle, Delaware. That means one thing. Hey, I'm here. We got Dan, we got Iannone's, we got Scalessa's. We are starting at Scalessa's from the Trolley Square area of Wilmington. Donnie is known for a whole lot of things. And probably last on the list would be his cheesesteak. I would probably put, I would definitely put his butter cake ahead of his cheesesteak. Here we are. All right, March Cheesesteak Madness continues. Amigo Dan making a rare appearance outside his car. Scalessos. All school. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're just here to take pictures. We're not going in. Oh, it's unbelievable. Man. You know that. <laughs> well, we both took our first fight at the same time. And Amigo Dan Colossus was ready to say something. But I got to step in because holy mackerel. Looking at that, I didn't have much hope for Scalassus. But holy mackerel. That first bite, finish my sentence, finish my sentence. The first bite, it doesn't matter whether you take it from the top or the bottom, this is a good cheesesteak. It's all throughout, it's moist throughout the whole thing. Um, onions and mushrooms, you take, it's got a good flavor, you know what it is? It's got a good blend, like everything's working. Yeah, look at that, good blend, and um, the mushroom. I mean, uh, boy, I can't get my onions. I got my mushrooms and onions backwards today. Onions add some sweetness. And now to Newcastle for Iannone's specialty sandwiches. Both these places have very long names, and they're just going to go by their they're going to go by their surnames for simplicity. Lice Calessas Iannone's is probably more better known for their hot roast beef. Here we are. Overcast day in February. Here. I'm going to take a picture so I know how to spell I had known. He's Amigo Dan thinks he's in the picture. There he is. He's in it. I had my first bite and I, and I could hear Amigo Dan going, hmm, hmm. And I see him pointing. And I'm thinking the same thing. This, is a, this has got a whole bunch of different stuff going on. The first thing I noticed, the onions are crunchy. And, on, and robust. I'm not sure I hit the mushroom yet. <laughs> I was going to say, first thing I noticed that the mushrooms were full and a little undercooked, but good. And I don't, as you, as you're talking, I'm thinking I haven't hit a mushroom yet. It was, I mean, an onion yet. It was funny that you said you haven't hit a mushroom yet. <laughs> okay, so they're portioned out on different sides. I think I think we're gonna see a lot of that in this cheesesteak just looking at it. We got Iannone's, we got Scalessis, we got Dan Matt, got all the Italians here. <laughs> Talk to us. Okay, you know what? You know what I've said about both? You got Scalessa over here. There was one problem with it, you know, that look right there. As you said, not a sexy cheesesteak. And then over here, you've got Iannone's, and they had their one little thing that I had mentioned that it wasn't, you, you got a different bite on the bottom and a different bite on the top. So you know what? After thinking about it all, I, you know, I'm a traditionalist. I like to go with the thing that you're going to get the same bite out of all of it. It's a good mix. So you know what? I got to give my nod to Cafe Scalessa. Yeah, Scalessa. Scalessa moves on.